Hey, hey, hey! Thanks for joining me today. Um, I'm going to be showing you how to create a dinosaur today out of either a toilet paper roll or a paper towel roll. Um, so the supplies that you'll need for it, first off you're going to need the template, which should be online. Um, I didn't have a printer, so if you also don't have a printer, you can um, basically eyeball it and trace it onto a piece of paper. Like I said, I didn't have a printer, so I kind of had to just sketch this out onto a piece of paper, and I'll show you later how you line it up on the toilet paper roll. Um, a paper towel to work on, since we're going to be painting um, the paints that you want to use. Um, you don't have to use paint if you don't have it. You can also use crayons or markers, um, but it's really up to you. Um, like I said, toilet paper roll or paper towel, you should be able to get one out of a toilet paper roll, two, maybe three out of a paper towel roll, um, a sharpie, a few paint brushes if you are using uh, paint. Um, I'm using these two, uh, a zero and a four. Um, this is more so to add like the, the finer detail, and then this is going to be the cover of the body, and then obviously scissors to cut it out and then a pen or a pencil to trace. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. Um, like I said, I sketched this out ahead of time and cut out my template so I'd have it ready to go for this. Um, so what you wanna do, I'm gonna use a toilet paper roll. Um, you're gonna wanna flatten it so we can go ahead and trace. So we're gonna crease the sides here, just like that. And so as you can see, since I uh, eyeballed my template earlier, it doesn't actually fit side to side. So when I trace it on here, I wanna make sure that I um, take it edge to edge. That way when I go to cut it out, it all stays together. So I'm gonna roughly center him and just start tracing. So he's gonna be a little bigger. Um, that. And it doesn't have to be exact, so I'm going to move my template over just a little bit more so it's closer to the edge, and I can follow it all the way up like that, like that, and then same thing, I'm going to move it back over. So I can follow my template again. And that's kind of when you're, what you're looking for. So if you trace it on your uh, roll and you don't really like the shape of it, as you're cutting it out, you can edit and change that. So like, I think his tail looks a little fat here. So when I go to cut him out, I'm gonna make it just a little bit thinner. But once we once you have your trace on, you can go ahead and start trimming. Just be really careful. Um, the toilet paper roll is uh, a little uh, stiff, so and it's kind of hard to cut. So just be careful with it. And remember I said I'm going to make his tail a little thinner. And I really like this project because, uh, I mean, mostly you should have a good portion of all these supplies on hand. Um, toilet paper roll or paper towel roll um, are pretty cheap supplies too, so um, you can always ask a neighbor if you're, you don't have any. Um, but like I said, so that's kind of what you're looking for. Um, for your cutout. His tail is a little long, so I'm going to trim that a little bit. But, so once you get that cut out, you're going to open them up. So 
So, and actually before I open them up, I'm going to show you here. So this is his tail, and then this is his neck and his head right here. So we're going to open them up. Like that. And then I'm going to fold his tail down right on the crease where the circle is. So you can kind of see there. So we want to fold that all the way down. Just like that. And then... I'm kind of curving his head as I'm unfolding it, and I want to crease it right here, right before the uh, little edges here. Just like that. Hopefully you guys can see that. But that's kind of what you're looking for. So now, the fun part is bringing him to life with some color. So, I choose, I'm going to choose green today, um, which you can kind of see, um, I did one earlier just to practice, um, but I have this darker green here that I'm going to make a little lighter because I want them to be a little lighter, um, and I'm just using acrylic craft paint, nothing super fancy, you can get them at a craft store like Michael's or Joann's or Hobby Lobby. Um, I'm going to add a little yellow and then a little white to lighten it up. We're just going to mix all that together. And he doesn't, the, your dinosaur doesn't have to be one solid color. If you want to, you know, maybe put a base coat down of green and then add like some purple or blue or orange spots to them, by all means, um, get as creative with it as you possibly want to. But now, I'm going to go ahead and paint his little body, um, just inside and outside. Um, and there's not really a, uh, specific way or, or place to start, just you want to make sure that he's covered all the way around. And because I'm adding other details to him later, I'm specifically painting his feet and his head. Um, that way it's dry by the time I get to it and we don't have to wait too long. This part gets a little messy just because you're going to hold on to him while you paint. So you might get your fingers a little bit, but um, the great thing about acrylic paint is it washes off um, fairly easy. So shouldn't be an issue there. Like I said, you don't have to use paint, um, especially if you don't have paint, markers, crayons, any of that would work. Um, the details that we're going to add later are going to be um, white and black, so if you don't have paint, um, just make sure you leave a little space um, for his toes. That way it's easier to cover over if you have like a, a white um, crayon or um, you can even give him black black details, black toes and stuff like that. That way you can still see and define his um, dinosaur features. So, oops. This is why I like to paint on a paper towel when I do projects like this. Uh, just because like, you can get it all over your countertops if not. We don't want that. Got a little on the paper towel there, or uh, paper towel roll. As you can see, my fingers are getting completely covered in green, so no worries though. It will come off, I promise. And you might find uh, when you're painting um, or coloring your dinosaurs, um, they might get a little deformed, so we might have to. Uh, round him back out and cr recrease his tail. Um, as you can see, it kind of is sitting a little high right now, so I'll probably have to do that. But I'm just making sure I have all the ed edges covered and. I want to make sure that he's 
completely cover, colored in. Pretty much there. I'm going to recrease his head while I, my fingers are already covered in paint. <laughs> okay. I'm um, just going around now and making sure that I don't have like a, an excessive amount of paint sitting on the edges anywhere. Um, it just tends to take a little longer to dry. Um, so I'm just kind of wrapping up some final details here. And wash my belly ball since we are sitting pretty close to my sink here, so that is helpful. I have a few extra paper towels on hand. Okay, so we're going to let him dry just for a little bit um, before we hop into giving him details. Um, I found when I made the, the first one, so where your, your toilet paper roll, like these creases, um, are naturally in the, the roll itself. Um, if you are mindful about where you set those, and I'll show you what I mean by this later, because um, the one of the creases here is right over the other guy's little face, but um, try to keep that in mind. See, I have a flat surface here for his head, but like on his tail, there's one of those creases, just in the natural form of the, the paper towel, or the toilet paper roll. Um, but it's helpful to not have them on the face, but it does add a little bit more character um, around his whole body. And I'm going to curve his face just a little bit more because I don't like how pointy his nose is. This is supposed to be um, in, I apologize if I don't pronounce this correctly, but a Diplodocus dinosaur. Um, if anybody's ever watched uh, Land Before Time, this should be uh, Littlefoot's mom and our grandma and grandpa or what little foot is those dinosaurs that have those really really long necks that eat tree stars <laughs> um i love that show when i was growing up i still love that show so it's kind of what i relate it to but uh i'm gonna go ahead and oh there's a little bit there we go i'm gonna go ahead and start adding his finer details so on all of his toes we want to, or all of his feet, we want to add his toes. Oh, I need a little white paint here for that. Like I said, if you're not painting um, and you don't have white paint, or you are painting and you don't have white paint, um, you can use black for this, that's totally fine. Or you could even use a darker green to add these details, that would be kind of cool. But I'm just going to go through and I'm adding, and you can see he's pretty dry already, which is nice. I like that it dries so quickly. Um, I'm adding three little dots, so starting in the middle, and then one on each side for his toes. Whoops, that one got a little close to the edge. One in the middle, and one on each side. We're doing this on all of his feet, all of his toes. And you can see there's a little paint that's not quite dry there, but that's all right. You want to make sure, though, when you go to paint that a good portion of it's dry. There we go. So now he's got all of his little toes on. And like I said, you can go back through and add as much detail as you want to this. Um, I think it'd be cool to add some little scales here and there. But then, if you have black paint, you can also paint his eyes on. But we're going to add two little dots for his um, eyes. And I kind of want them right in about here at the bottom of where this like bulge is here. So I'm going to fold his head in and give him two dots and then kind of make them just a little bit bigger. There we go. And then since I have my white out, I'm just going to add a little highlight. 
it to them. There we go. And that's really about it. Um, like I said, you can add as much detail to you want, um, but that's what you're looking for. Um, that little guy there. And this is the one that I made earlier, which it looks like I spilled a little paint on his face. But this is what I was talking about. You can kind of see one of those creases landed right on his face. So it was kind of unfortunate, but it still, um, I think, works. And then um, I'll add some toes to him too. He's completely dry. So again, one in the middle and one on each side. I think, uh, like I said, I think it would be cool to come back and add some dark green highlights on him. But it's totally up to you. But yeah, so now we have two little green guys that we will uh, put together and they can be little friends. We'll put little highlights on his eyes here. Perfect. So that's it for this dinosaur. Um, if you tune in on Wednesday, I'm going to be doing something very similar, um, showing you how to make a dinosaur. It's just a different dinosaur. It's a Triceratops, which um, is really cool. Um, there's a little bit more in-depth detail to him, um, but yet yeah, tune back in on Wednesday and I'll show you how to make a friend for these little guys. So thank you so much. I hope you all are staying safe. Um, and again, don't forget to tag us on Facebook and show us all of your creations. Thanks guys. Bye.